Hey everybody, this is Steve in uh, Cedarville, Ohio, and uh, this is our gift revolution. Alright, well, the gift revolution rolls on, and here we are in Springfield, and we just dropped off another tree, and uh, we're with um, Tina and Joe and uh, their family, and I just um, they just went through a trying time, and maybe you guys can just kind of talk about kind of what's gone on this last year. Well, um, it started off with this one and my baby, our baby getting lead poison. They were lead poison pretty badly, where Jacob had to be admitted in Children's Hospital in Dayton. Um, he was in there for two weeks. Well, we are just so thankful that we're able to come in and just share this time and, and actually just give you something, a tree that just is just, you know, we all know it just smells so good in the house and, and all. And I just, we just, you know, we're just thankful to be able to come and just share this with you. And um, now you've got this kind of a tree. Is you get, what are you guys going to do tonight? Decorate it. You're going to decorate it? Very cool. What's your favorite part of putting it on the tree? The star? Very cool. I'm so glad. That's awesome. So, well, you guys have a thank you so much. And um, guys, thank you guys for being a part of it, too. So um, the gift revolution is going to roll on, and uh, these guys can get to decorating their tree. So, um, Hi, I'm Woody Blocker. I'm out here. Actually, we're in Springfield, Ohio, um, delivering Christmas trees. We're just loading some trees up on top, of the, on top of a car right now to go deliver to a few more houses here in Springfield. Hopefully we can, uh, we can make some people's Christmas and hopefully we can have some more good stories to hear. Awesome. Here they are. Tying them on. Here we are, coming to a new house. Surprise another family with a tree and lots of ornaments. So here we are at um, another house, just blessing another family, and we have Joe and JJ here, and this is their live Christmas tree. So what are you looking forward to for Christmas? What are you excited about, JJ? I don't know. You don't know? All what do you right. want for Christmas? Right. Come here. <laughs> He's checking it out. Okay. <laughs> uh, he wants Spider-Man and bicycles. No. <laughs> oh, he's getting a list. Yeah, he's getting his book. <laughs> oh, cool. He wants everything pretty much. Well, good. Well, good. Well, um, I know this was a bit of a surprise. You knew about it from the school, but if you could just tell us um, what it means to you and your family. Oh, it means a lot. Man. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come in and just kind of meet you and, and JJ and I just kind of no share this with you. So. Have fun with it. Have a wonderful time decorating it. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're here from Cedarville, and I really liked seeing everyone's different expressions. They're all really excited that we brought them Christmas trees. Hi, I'm Marie Kirby, and something that really stood out to me was just the excitement of the kids. Um, they were really excited about decorating the tree, and a lot of them had gone through like recent tragedies, either like losing a job or having a fire or something like that. And they had never had a real tree, or they had lost what they had had before, and we're just really excited about decorating this tree. Hey, my name is Peter Brock. I really enjoyed um, looking at the expressions in the kids' faces to see all the gifts that we that we gave them, the tree, all the um, the lights, and everything else. It really made it special to see that they were really happy and. Uh, to see that they're going to have a really good Christmas this year. I'm Sarah and I'm here from Cedarville and hmm, what stuck out to me the most tonight? I'm just getting to meet the kids I guess and asking them their ages and where they're in at school and um, just getting to start conversations with people that I've, ne I've never met before and somehow I'm touching their lives even by just giving them a Christmas tree. Something as simple as that. And you never know how that's going to impact these kids but it's been such a blessing even just to just to meet them. All right, I'm Julia from Cedarville, and I love the event experience tonight, and what stuck out to me the most is probably the way the people's faces changed from like when we first walked in, and they were like, didn't really know what to think, and like what is even going on here, and um, but then just seeing how happy they were when we left, and just having just a chance encounter with them, and being able to somehow touch their lives, and make a small difference in their Christmas season. 